Hi friends and welcome to your weeklies. So I wish first of all to all Aries that they still didn't have the birthdays happy birthday and to all early Tauruses happy birthday. Also Taurus will be getting their monthlies first so watch out in about a week from now. And lastly remember that no matter what the date is if you are here this is the right time for you to hear it. Anyhow please enjoy Safi uh, playing Fatch while well, actually kind of introduce you something that I would really like you to pay attention into here. And it's just a little bit of digression. Uh, one viewer of the site, Nancy Knott, actually just published a book. It's called Zany Circus Paradox. This is a story for 8 to 12 years old. In that story, we meet Zandi, Tobilia, and Kathy and Zany, who live in a circus and they never go to school. So they are free to play pranks, read books, and hang upside down to their heart's content. The best part of this, and why I'm introducing this, and no, I'm not paying for it, is that the book is written for our lexic, which is not mainstream publishing house. It's a small press and is trying to obtain non-for-profit non status. Their mission is to promote literacy and a love of reading, particularly for children who struggle to read and children who have dyslexia, people with autism or anybody with any form of learning difficulties. So most of the work that Nancy does for Alexic is free. So it is an amazing story, an amazing project, and I'm putting a link for the book and more information in the description, so please check it out. And again, I repeat, I'm not paid for it, just supporting this great mission. So if you want to read uh, a copy to your 8 to 12 year old or want to buy it for a present, please, uh, I would really appreciate that you click on the link and review it. Also, what is in our weeklies? How is Mercury Retrograde treating you? Did you see to what happened to Pepsi commercial or to United Airlines, to Sean Spicer's? Yeah, these are all examples of Mercury Retrograde making you do the wrong improper just a silly thing miscommunications and issues with technology will be what we'll be actually experiencing for the rest of the month so brace yourself also with mercury retrogrades you will be dealing with exes so those that you want and those that you don't want so please contact me for personal reading to see uh, why they are coming if they are coming and if you should keep them cat terror no spread also known is like if your ex is coming back is now on special for 45 so for more info check my website www.cattero.ca and also lastly i started a, f a facebook page cat terror news check it out because anybody who likes it and follows it will be automatically entered in a draw for a 20 minute readings with me so the link is in the description so that's all you need to do so enjoy your weeklies and keep in mind that my monthlies are coming up when the star sign switches its house so around the 21st taurus you're first and one promise to you i won't call the cops and drag you off this channel ha 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 that's it seriously let's go hi pisces welcome to your weeklies let's see what is in the store for you okay so let me try with start with uh what is on the bottom of your deck one deck has queen of wands reversed so going from exuberant go-getter somebody having an act together sexy well-dressed to manipulative selfish bully somebody in bad mood resentful jealous um this card also talks about um, information can be twisted into lies. It can indicate um, that maybe you have recently lost confidence in yourself and you may have become a shrinking violet. It just simply tells you, look, you need to restore your faith and believe in yourself. And look, you have it. Yeah. Saying re really like, I mean, you have to do that in order to get control in order to kind of like win this guy who is the perfect for you the other deck is whoa you have a double whammy you have a magician reversed so magician is somebody who has the tools to manifest sort of like you go to this person and yeah can you create this and this and this now this is the person who claims that has all the tools it's just like you you're a used car salesman right so just look out for someone who is talking crap 
who is obviously trying to take advantage of you and the situation. Um, they might be pretending to be an expert and to have all this quote unquote tools and resources. But the truth here is that probably they're motivated with, um, with their own selfish needs. So just like kind of be smart about it. Okay, so let's jump right into your reading. Uh, let's see if you see it. I think, I hope you do. Okay, so what's happening here? Um, what did you drag? What the cat dragged in here from the past? <laughs> oh my gosh. You have a magician here as well. Also reversed. So you probably know what I'm talking about. Look, you know, somebody, somebody you trusted. You trusted somebody. You trusted somebody, but you have learned that you have to walk away from it or you became single. Uh, kind of like you already learned a lesson that you have to get the strength in yourself that this person can, uh, can it's basically spilled milk, no worth crying over. This actually can still linger and that you are kind of debating between this, this, these two things. This also could be somebody from your workplace. But in any case, right now, you're kind of like st stabilizing or stabilized. However, the passion is still not returned. The passion is still kind of, yeah, you know, the whole situation left you with bad taste in your mouth, you know, so there is the kitty who thinks it's a winner and there are two, two of them walking away. But, you know, <laughs> you know what's going to happen when somebody's behind you and you think you're a winner, right? So this way, at least, if it is realization of knowing, well, you know, nobody actually won. And it is a force that you are fighting in you. Like, you have the devil card here. That talks about literally codependency. It feels like, you know, many of us have the same lesson. You know? Maybe it could be a universal lesson that everybody has. And... It's sort of like, how much do you want to hurt? Do you want to hurt a little or do you want to hurt a lot? So if you go devil way, you continuously continue being involved with a person who is just not good for you. They, they simply don't treat you well or they're not reliable. Um, there is no transparency. Um, like, it's like not that you are asking some unusual things, you know. You don't ask them to manifest munchkins. Like, sort of like you're just saying, look, call me when you say you'll call me. Don't disappear on weekends because that means to me that something else is going on, etc. But you still go back to them. You still sleep with them. They still sweet talk you. So that tells you, and you have to ask yourself, well, really, is my self-esteem that low that I'm going to allow this person just to waltz into my life and just take advantage of me? And, and, and this is kind of like the overall feeling. I think you Pisces are getting out of it. And this is like that used car salesman basically talk, right? Like he's telling you everything, promising you everything. And the moment he's like out of the door, the stories are not there and the promises are not being kept. And whatever you say, it's twisted. So this is what's happening. So that's why I said, how much do you really want to hurt? Because, you know, you can cut it off now and it's going to hurt and it will take time to heal because you're not only healing, cutting off that tumor, but you're healing what the tumor did to you in the other parts of your body. So the more you allow that to basically fester in you, the bigger it's going to get. So you have to ask yourself, do you think you're winning by staying this person or you think there'll be no winners? And in fact, there will be one loser, you. You kind of like on some level you're getting it because I see in your base you have two of earth and you have four of earth, both are reversed. So this is kind of like being out of balance and kind of like realizing, gee, I need this balance or, you know, things can really go bad. And it's just, you, you have to find the firmness. You have to find that middle ground where you can kind of like accept the issues and it's coupled with four of first reversed realizing that this hoarding and it's like almost like again it's th this is similar the kind of like the clutches n not in in the same way not as passionate but sort of like you feel those clutches of uh, struggle that you, you kind of like really can't release what you know you should be releasing and yeah exa exactly this is you Pisces this is a, an issue inside of yourself. 
Sometimes this card is being interpreted as truth not being told. Well, I would say we should interpret this card always as truth not being told. So now the question is, is this truth from the outside or is it from within you? What are you fooling yourself with? Right, yeah, be fair to yourself. And if that fairness means accepting things that are ugly, so be it. You know what? You have to start somewhere. We all have to start somewhere. You can't <laughs> lose weight. Okay, I am having Mercury retrograde issues. I was already like three cards down when I realized this stopped recording. So, okay, so what I was saying is like, you have to stop somewhere. You, you just cannot lose weight overnight. You have to start somewhere. Face yourself. Face your truth. This is what it is. This is what I gotta do. But by putting that extra ice cream in your system or going for the extra bag of chips, guess what? You'll have to burn it off too. And it's going to be just harder. So, uh, I mean, it is hard. I get it. I get it. Low self-esteem is like so prevalent. We are, especially for women. Well, it's for men too. Uh, women like 20, 30 years ago were basically treated like, you know, they had to have this perfection and certain dress and stuff. And then instead of basically training men to accept us in all shapes and sizes, we made men feel bad about themselves. So now both genders are feeling the same. You have to be perfect in career, in relationship, in money, and nobody is perfect, right? So start dealing with your self-esteem, the real self-esteem. If that means turning off television, please do that. Trust me, that was one of the best decisions I did in my life. So what is on your mind? So it's no wonder that you're feeling kind of like going here because it's like sedating for you, right? It's like taking that sugar cookie and that sugar kind of calms you down for two seconds until it just creates even bigger pain when the insulin kicks in. So here we have 10 of sky. <laughs> That's like the 10 of swords. It's like, look, Kitty is, you know, scared. Kitty is cold. You know, the storm is happening. Look at the thunder. There is no way to run. So you know what's happening. This kitty is losing one of its lives. So y you are feeling devastated, absolutely devastated. And I'm seeing it here because you have a 10 of cups reversed and it's, it's the pain. Yeah, you have been backstabbed. Maybe somebody did not choose you. Maybe somebody returned to somebody else. Um, maybe you invested a lot of patience and love and energy and passion and, and maybe this is why you feel completely passionless. It's, it's just like, oh my God. So one, on one side, you're feeling completely worn out. Passion is out, but it's like not passion for somebody else. It's almost like you need this person like a drug. But passion for you, Pisces, where is that passion? I really want to see this back. I want to see this kitty being upright, kind of like looking, uh, looking in the distance, kind of like looking into your own fleet. What else can you do instead of like waiting for somebody to make those decisions for you or about you? I don't know. It's, it's a lots of words that I'm giving you here. But the truth is really you have to do this work because... Um, you want to charge ahead. I see that you want to do this work. So this is kind of like dealing with a whole bunch of issues. Issues of trying to be right. Issues of trying to kind of have the last word. Issues of charging ahead. Issues of moving ahead swiftly. Uh, merging opposing forces. Sort of like almost like knowing that, you know, a partner might not be for you. You're still trying to make it work. And um, it also talks about morality and trying to do what is right. And yeah, it's again, seven of pentacles would indicate patience if it's in the upright position. But here, you're so tired. Things did not bear fruit. And, and right now at this stage, you don't think they will. Yeah, and like all this kind of party time and somebody giving you all these promises about the better times. Uh, you're wondering, like, how happy are they? Are they only happy with you or do they have somebody on the side they're happy with? You are feeling down, Pisces. You kind of, like, have been like this for a while. So this card is of emotional fulfillment. And this is, to say the least, is, like, you are not feeling fulfilled. 
ranging all the way to like I mean you feel backstab so there are two tenths two tenths and then you have one and then you have one guess what it means something that is in the process of just about to close will close any moment now so it is up to you when this is going to happen because you need to see if you want to continue with putting the extra cookie in you or not but i think you have made your mind up I think you're going ahead. It's just like my opinion based on the cards. Yeah, that's it. You're cutting it off. You're cutting it off. You're cutting it off. And this means being a loner. You like literally prefer to be alone than to be with somebody who is causing you this much harm. And from all the signs, uh, especially from the three water signs that are really experiencing things deeply, emotionally, you're the most sensitive uh, sign. And when somebody hurts you and kind of like deceives you or lets you down like you really really suffer and i get it and you know resolving this karmic lesson what you're doing look my happiness is of utmost importance so now i know why you got this you got this because you're working on understanding yourself and working on your self-esteem issues in the uh your environment um uh, there are either messages or you're expecting some messages but you know it might be kind of delays which is also kind of like pretty prevalent with mercury retrograde yeah um again it's it's a possible person who kind of like is a charismatic interesting uh kind of like party party type person um lots of fun to be around lots of smiles uh you know somebody who is always in a good mood but also this could be other person that you're trying to avoid because you know this person could be just kind of like testing the territories uh knights don't stay around though they just come to the bottle and they leave and they have another night you have two you have a passion and love or maybe or maybe you're going to be getting some new messaging uh maybe something new evolving sort of uh two things happening at the same time just beware of involvement with the new things until the previous things are done and maybe this is what is telling me because you have tens and ones so cycle is finishing a new cycle is starting and here i'm seeing finishing again your hopes and fears you fear that you'll get stuck and you hope you're going to get rewarded for all these things that you've been through kind of like look i did all of that where is my karmic reward the high the high priestess yeah it kind of like you are not connecting with your intuition you you are you are yeah you're not connecting to your intuition instead you're resorting to logic this is all good you know logic is something that the air signs really dwell well with because this is their domain for you pisces you really need to connect to your heart and i know right now it hurts right now it's it's last place where you want to go so instead of your intuition you're using your head and and so be it you know we have to do what makes what makes it work and lastly uh, i mean you started with sort of like being a little bit passionless and kind of like being fed up with everything so now this is the same thing in the upright position we do have sort of somebody who is in the uh, kind of like maybe in a position of strength but look you know you can see that other kitties are going to spare no time and find the angle you know to to kind of attack and it's going to be lots of fireworks but maybe not the good ones here everybody's kind of fed up why exactly what was that all about you're asking yourself seven of fire sevens are very unstable so, so what was the ball about like what in the world you know maybe you know like you have arguments with your mate over nothing over nothing that kind of like just wears you down and destroys your entire day and, and like you're all worked up about it and then like you're saying why why do i need to do that yeah that's you you're kind of like so fed up you you became so emotional over that for no reason and that's what basically kills your passion because somebody kills your passion and, and evokes this negative passion you just like don't want to even charge on a good things so pisces i don't know even how to summarize this in a in a tagline i'm going to say beware of used car salesmen i guess you know so 
let's let's see what is the advice for you okay we have jumpers it's always good yeah unrequited love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going i have to literally put a sticky uh, pad over that because i so uh, disagree with that this means that you know it's, it's maybe good for you that things didn't work out because it didn't make you happy in, to start with and you know it takes two to tango and you are not ready you're right now in the process of being ready <laughs> yeah look very soon clearly decide what you want so that comes to you now yeah you're in the very beginning i think that the finish of april it's going to be hard time for you but it's going to be a good time so welcome to my world you'll become queen of swords you will really be fair and like uh, you will make actually everybody happy your your basically uh, decisions will be very logical you're going to look for what is the best possible solution not what you think that you have to please somebody not that you have to sugarcoat something literally you're going to give yourself that gift so please let me know Pisces in the comments how it's going uh, personal reading is always available and take care you're going to have an interesting end of the month so love you